Today in the Detail Garage, we're going to show you how to remove swirls and scratches from black paint using a machine polisher. Now black paint is often the hardest color to polish because it shows swirls and it shows scratches and holograms more than any other color. So for a detailer, the true test of a detailer skill is oftentimes polishing black paint. Now today we're going to go over a few tips and tricks on how to use a machine polisher and how to restore paint back to original condition. So let's start with the first step which is going to be the washing. Now I've already washed the whole vehicle so I've removed all the dirt off the car. If you want to see more videos about washing, go ahead and click our YouTube channel and you can go ahead and search car wash or washing into our channel and that will give you several other videos on how to wash the car properly. We're not going to be showing it in this video because we're going to be moving on to the steps to show you how to machine polish. Now that we have all the, wa uh, all the water and the dirt off the car, we need to go ahead and clay it so it feels smooth. So I took a yellow OG clay bar and clayed the surface. Now the car feels extremely smooth. Now it's important to clay bar the vehicle before you start polishing to remove any overspray, contamination, rail dust, and environmental pollution that's stuck on the paint. Now if you want to learn more about clay barring or any type of clay service, Go ahead, or go ahead and go to our YouTube channel and search how to clay bar and that will go ahead and give you all videos on how to clay bar the vehicle and you can go ahead and do the service to your own vehicle as well. So now let's go ahead and assess the paint work. Now I'm gonna, I, as you can see I have LED lighting set up and I also have an LED flashlight right here and we can show you guys that there's a lot of swirls and scratches all over the paint work. Now just by looking at these videos of the swirls and scratches you could see that the machine polisher is going to be the right way to restore the paintwork and remove all the scratches. Now this paint right here is called a clear coat finish. So it's actually a clear layer over black and we're going to polish the clear layer to remove all the scratches. Now normally I would do what's called a test spot to determine what type of polishing needs to be done. Uh, but I've already done a test spot on the other side and to keep this video a little bit shorter I'm going to go ahead and skip to the test uh, products that I've already used and that gave me the best results. Now out of all the products that I used on this video, the best results I got was by using a rotary machine with V32, an orange pad, and then going ahead and using V36 on a dual action with another orange pad. Now you guys might be thinking that this is a little bit unconventional if you're experienced with polishing, but GM paint is very, very hard. This stuff is extremely tough and it's very difficult to polish. Now in order to polish that, I need a lot of cutting power, so I'm going to use two orange pads and a rotary and a dual action machine. I tried using just a dual action and just a rotary, but the rotary followed by the dual action produced the best results on this vehicle. Now every vehicle is different, your car is going to be different from this one, but this is what works best on this vehicle to achieve the results I want to achieve. Now to show you how polishing works, I'm going to place a piece of tape right here down the middle and then we're going to polish this area and show you the before and afters once we're done. Now for this example I'm going to be using some green painters tape. This is going to go ahead and tape up the area and it's going to make sure that uh, we show a good difference on the amount of work that we're going to do. Now when I do a line like this I'm going to put up a little thicker line to make sure I don't go over and you guys can see the best difference on camera. So now let's go ahead and polish. Now I have a lot of LED lighting in here because it's important to see what I'm doing. You don't want to do this in the dark. If you can, you want to do this in a controlled environment with lots of lighting. Now we picked up these LED lights from a local hardware store. You can also use halogen work lights as well. So let's get started with polishing. Now I'm going to use a rotary polisher for this job and I'm going to first start out with V32. Now when I did my test spot, I used V36 and an orange pad to test that polish did not cut enough for this hard paint. So I stepped it up to V34. Now V34 produced results, but it did not produce enough results that I wanted to see. So I went ahead and used V32. Now V32 is gonna cut hard enough and it's gonna remove all the deeper scratches before the refining process. So let's take our V32 and we're gonna place five dots on our blue or on our orange cutting pad. We'll use six dots just to get us started, and we'll use five dots every time after that. I'm going to grab a little DI water, a few sprays will get me started before I work. Now this paint is very sticky, and it oftentimes doesn't polish easily, so 
It's going to be an interesting video for you guys to see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to polish using a rotary polish here. I'm going to cut this section right here and I'm going to polish at about 1800 to 2000 RPMs and then we'll inspect the surface once we're done. So let's place the machine on the surface. I'm going to spread this out. Now it looks like I got an even spread. Now I'm going to go ahead and start polishing the surface on the high speed. And then once we're done, we'll inspect the surface and see if we need to polish again. So I'm going to go ahead and buff off any residue. Now you notice when I started polishing, the polish turned clear and that means that our polish is done and we're ready to move on. Now I'm going to buff off any residue and if you guys have noticed when we were polishing a piece of tape came off, that's all right. We still had two pieces there and that's enough to keep us going. There we go. Okay. So let's grab our inspection light and we're going to go ahead and inspect the surface to make sure that we have no defects. Now, from what I'm seeing, we removed a lot of the heavier swirls and the scratches. And now the only thing that's left is what's called hologramming. Now I'm going to bring the camera in here to show you guys a little bit about what hologramming is. But hologramming is actually from very aggressive polishing from a rotary and a compound and it created almost like a 3d hologram effect 
Now, I need to fix up this hologram because we've cut out all the deeper swirls and scratches. They're gone for sure. But I need to go ahead and refine the finish a little more. And this is where the dual action is going to come in and repair that problem. Now, we're going to bring the cameras in here, get a little view of the holograms to show you what it is. And then I'm going to switch machines and we're going to go ahead and use the torque to polish out. So we'll see you in a moment. So we finished our compounding of the area, cutting out all the deeper swirls. Now, V32 actually leaves behind smaller swirls and what's called holograms when cut this aggressively. Now, uh, by nature, General Motors paint on this Escalade is extremely hard. And if we were doing a softer paint, we'd actually use a dual action and a white pad. But on this vehicle, the paint's very hard, it's very uh, rugged. So we're gonna go ahead and use V36 with an orange pad. And we found that that test works the best on this vehicle. Now remember, every vehicle is different. Uh, do not actually try the same combination to work on every vehicle because it might work, it might not work. Every vehicle needs its own unique combination. So let's move up to V36 now. Now V36 is a cutting polish and this is gonna help us cut away any holograms, any light swirls that are left or any micro marring. And that, that's what's created by the V32 is called micro marring because the abrasives in the compound itself actually create its own type of very slight marring. Now this marring isn't bad, it's not difficult to remove. The torque machine is gonna be very easy to remove now, uh, the problem. Now we're gonna be using the Torque 10FX dual action polisher and we're gonna be using it on speed setting six with the V36 to polish it out. Once it turns clear, I'll buff it off. We'll take off the tape and then we'll inspect. So let's go, same process as we did before. Okay, so we've worked our V36 polish into the paintwork. I'm going to go grab my microfiber towel again, and we're going to remove all of the extra polish. Now, when you're removing extra polish like this, you want to be super careful not to re-scratch the surface, because if you do, you could mess up all the work that you've just done. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull off my tape now. There we go. And I'm going to grab my 
LED swirl finding light and I'm going to inspect the surface and there we go we got like a good 95 percent correction real real good it looks fantastic I want to go ahead and do one more polishing step on it uh, to try and refine the finish just a little bit more uh, so to get even more luster out of it, I'm going to go with a third step. I'm going to use V38 and I'm going to use a white pad. So I'm going to reset up my machine and then we will go ahead and do some more polishing. We'll see you guys in a moment. So we're back. I've set up my machine. I put some more tape back on and we're going to move on to uh, our third step. Now what I noticed under extreme light is that uh, the cutting with the orange pad still left micro marring. That's okay. It's expected with an orange pad that's designed for cutting. So we're going to use a super soft white pad and then we're going to use the V38 final polish to truly refine the finish. Now if this were white, the paint would already look great, but black literally shows everything. And the only thing that's left on the vehicle is what's called micro marring. Now micro marring is where there's almost like micro swirls and the micro squirrels are very difficult to be seen in direct sunlight, but when we have uh, uh, artificial lighting here and it's really bringing out the swirls, you really see it all. So I'm gonna work V38 with a white pad. I'm gonna refine the finish a little more and I know that'll give us the result we want. So let's work it in. I'm gonna put my machine down. I'm gonna grab a microfiber towel and let's buff off any last V38 residue. Now the V38 really did take the black to the next level because it's an ultra fine finishing polish and it's designed to give a truly perfect finish. I'm gonna grab my light, boom. And now that's the results I really wanted to see. Just great results, no swirls, no scratches. And when you look at the light, it just completely covers the whole surface. Now this is truly a good like 98% defect removal. And I don't think it can really get better than this. This is probably the best this paint is gonna look. And in my eyes, it's show worthy. So now you guys know exactly how to remove swirls and scratches from black paint. Remember everything that we use in this video, if you wanna purchase it, can be picked up on our website, chemicalguys.com, where you can find hundreds of detailing products to get the best results on any car you're detailing. So when, no matter what you're gonna do, you're gonna be able to get the best results using Chemical Guys products. Now, if you need help selecting our, a product, uh, you can always e email us, send us an email, uh, or you could also call us directly, or you can check out our forum where we have a community of detailers that can answer any type of questions about any type of vehicle that you're doing. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button and get all the newest videos that come out every week just to help you out detail the best you can. 
Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time right here in the Detail Garage.